To build his trout hatchery, Peter will need timber, an important industry in the Tamar. To keep pace with the demand for wood, Edwardian foresters processed the timber on site using steam-powered portable sawmills. Farmer and sawyer Roy Hebditch runs this now rare saw bench and traction engine. Do these things travel around to different estates? Yeah. They normally go, in, go into an estate and set up, say stay, stay there for two months, cut up a whole load of timber that was last in state for sort of like say four or five years. You can also remember that moving around costs them money. When they're on the roads, they're not earning anything. Well, I'll show you how it works if you like. Yeah, all mine. <laughs> Come on in. Power from the engine. Right. Creates rotation motion through the shaft. And that's driving that, the saw blade? That's driving the saw blade direct, right? Yeah. The shaft speed on this one is about between 420 and 430. Revolution Res per... Revolution per minute. Yeah, yeah. Gives you roughly a, a tip speed around 95, 100 mile an hour. That's right on the very tip there. If you ever got your fingers caught in that, that would be it, really. So I think you, I think I'll let you do that end the things. <laughs> okay, Max. Roy's steam-driven traction engine powers both a four-foot six-inch blade and a sliding bench. Fantastic! Absolutely fantastic! This enabled the Edwardian Sawyer to cut through timber quicker and with greater precision than ever before. That's 10, <laughs> 9, 8, 7. There you go. That's six. Right, there you go. On six. OK. This is timber sawing, Edwardian style. None of your hand sawing, none of your physical effort. This thing, it just eats through it. It's all about setting it up and letting it go. There you go, you're now a sawyer. Yeah. There you go. You're a sawyer. Congratulations. Thank you very much. <laughs> Don't I know? I've got it. it gets everywhere, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. <laughs> it really does. Peter's been hard at work constructing his trout hatchery.